the night of redemption. And therefore, this night, I want to talk about how powerful, how powerful a blessing of a parent is to the children. And I will give a very short reflection tonight. And the theme of our reflection is how to be a blessing to your children. How to be a blessing to your children. And I will journey with you the five ways of a mother, a dad, can be a blessing to their children. Early in the morning, we talked about the blessings that God gives to children. And the first mass, we reflected on the ten blessings that um, God uh, gives to children. In our second mass that was there at nine in the morning, we talked about and we reflected on how parents can be able to communicate to their children and to remind them what it is that they are. And actually, graphically, we talked about the dedication or giving back children to God, the four major steps and the communication that does. And tonight, uh, we continue with uh, what parents can do and how parents can become blessings to their children. And before we venture into that, it is important for parents to know that they have a duty. And this one has been consistently said. That parents need to know how to physically bless and spiritually bless. Now that is important. How to physically bless and how to spiritually bless. But you see, we understand that depending on how we understand God. In our second mass, we talked about uh, a grandfather called Jacob and what he taught his grandchildren and what our parents speak. And we realize that our children are blessed. But as mothers and as dads, we can actually help our children to sabotage the blessing. And there is nothing as good as a child knowing that I am loved by my mom. I am loved by my dad. That alone will be able to cushion them against the life's upheavals that happens and that are actually inevitable. And they cannot run away from them. And the good thing is, eh, uh, the, the love of a mother and the blessing of a mother, the love of a dad and the blessings of a dad, it's like an insulation coat, you know. Our children are insulated, as it were. Meaning that uh, even if there was something to come and hit them, there is something that is blocking that. That is how, how important it is for a mother for a mother to be there for her children, for a dad to be there for his children. So, the first blessing. Dear moms and daddies, bless your children with the blessing of an imperfect parent. Be an imperfect dad. Be an imperfect mom. That is important. Your kids are not looking for you to be perfect. So they know that you are a limited dad. They know you are a limited mom. Stop behaving like a movie star. There is time for acting and time for being real. The other time I shared with the parents in a graduation ceremony for the initiates, 
And I was telling dads and the moms of these young men that it is important to remind our children that you as a dad, there will be moments that you have no money. Please communicate the same to them. Let them know that mommy can have no money. Daddy the same. In fact, even when you have the money, teach them the concept of luck. There is only one person who is called one who has everything. That's God in heaven. We call him El Shaddai. El Shaddai means God of more than enough. For us, we do not have more than enough. No wonder we say that there's nobody who is too rich that they can't receive anything. And nobody who is too poor to the extent that they have nothing to give. Once we know that, it is important. Now, let us ask ourselves, what are the qualities of an imperfect parent? Number one, an imperfect parent is approachable. You know that is important. An imperfect daddy, an imperfect mom is approachable. Please, good people, don't be afraid to let your children know that you are human. That you are human. Once you have appreciated the fact that, yes, I am imperfect, there will be moments that I am incapacitated, as it were. Then, they will know that dad is human, he feels pain. Mom is human, he, she feels pain. 